Welcome to a Grace Digital Production. The Power of Fasting What are the benefits of a fast? Number 1. Fasting will break unfruitfulness from your life. Whether done corporately or individually, fasting is a personal, private discipline. It is a sacrifice born out of expectation. This is not to say that fasting is a manipulative tool to get something from God but rather a reasonable service that God publicly rewards. Remember the hundredfold return? God's rewards are for all to see. Consider Job's life. He went through a powerful process and lost everything. His wealth, his children, and his health were all stripped away. Still, he fasted, prayed, and remained committed to private worship. Job tells us, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Job 23 verse 12 NIV And God restored Job's losses and gave him. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortune and gave him twice as much as he had before. Job 42.10 The Word of God also says that He blessed the latter days of Job more than His beginning. Job 42 verse 42 And even gave him more sons and daughters. God's open rewards flooded Job's life. Number 2. Health and healing will follow fasting. This does not mean that one can fast for a day and fall into abundance. But if you begin to fast on a regular basis, and you begin to honor God with fasting, prayer, and giving, you will see for yourself that it is directly linked to unfruitfulness being removed from your life. Joseph was forced to fast while in prison. According to history, only the prisoner's family members were permitted to bring them food, and his family was in another country. But after that season of his life, Joseph became fabulously wealthy and was put over all the money of Egypt. Genesis 41, verses 39 through 45. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God hath shewed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand, and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen, and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him, Bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnath-Paneah, and he gave him to wife Azanath, the daughter of Potipharah, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. Likewise Daniel, who in Babylonian captivity sought God diligently through fasting and prayer, received wisdom above all others, and had great success in the days of Darius the king. Daniel 6 verses 1 through 4. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom an hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the king. But they could find none occasion nor fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Health and Healing God also said that health and healing would follow fasting. Of his chosen fast, God said, Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Isaiah 58, 8 Fasting humbles you and brings clarity. 
even allowing you to draw forgiveness and bitterness from your heart. Some people have tried to really forgive someone, but they have never been able to let go of it. Begin a fast and trust God to work that in your heart. In an earlier video, I told you how fasting helps you physically because it cleanses your body and gives your organs time to rest. It also helps you spring clean in a spiritual sense because it makes you sensitive to the desires of the Lord. Unforgiveness, bitterness, and the like can all be linked to illnesses, fatigue, stress, and more. Number 4. Fasting will also overcome sexual addictions and demonic powers. When you fast and pray, you should expect miracles to follow. Fasting will also overcome sexual addictions and demonic power. It will break great sin off people. In Matthew 17 verse 21, Jesus said of that stubborn demon that this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting, remember? There is a spirit behind pornography. There is a spirit behind adultery. There is a spirit behind fornication. These demonic spirits of perversion manipulate and use folks like marionettes on a string. But fasting will break the stronghold of demonic sexual addictions like pornography, adultery, fornication, and lust. God will also target your children who are being led off and destroyed by the enemy's devices. In the book of Joel, God called for holy fasting, and he said, And afterward I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Joel 2 verse 28 Often, the rewards of fasting come after fasting. But from time to time, during fasting, responses can come. Take a look at the story of Hezekiah's son, Manasseh, who became king of Judah in 2 Chronicles. Manasseh was an evil king, whom God had warned many times to no avail. And the Assyrian army took the son of Hezekiah and put hooks in his nose, bound him with fetters, and carried him to Babylon. In his distress, Manasseh cried to God and humbled himself with fasting. The Bible says that God has answered his request and brought him back to Jerusalem into his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord was God. Verse 13. Many children have backslidden and have been drawn away by the enemy, as with a hook in their nose. They wound up bound to drugs, alcohol, and every sort of addiction. You may have rebellious children or sons and daughters, but I tell you, Fasting and prayer will absolutely tear these spirits out of their lives. God will also target your children. Your Father will Himself reward you openly. Matthew 6, 4 God does not lie. The thirtyfold, sixtyfold, and a hundredfold returns are available in the life of every believer. God is no respecter of persons. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield, and thy exceeding great reward. Genesis 15, verse 1. God said, Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Joel 2, 17. On a house, the porch is the part that everyone can see. It represents the more public aspects of your ministry. The altar represents private ministry. In the life of a believer, there should always be more private than public ministry to God. When you read about Jesus, you do not see Him praying nearly as often in public as you see Him praying privately. The Word of God says that He would often pray through the night and have intimate moments alone with His Father. From these times of private devotion, Public demonstrations of the power of God would be poured out in healings, fruitfulness, and more. Victories are not achieved in public, but in private. That is why fasting and praying, whether corporately or individually, is a private discipline. Where there is little private discipline, there is little public reward. Keep it personal. In Matthew chapter 6, we see that Jesus describes in detail the three duties of a Christian. 
giving, praying, and fasting. I would like you to see something else in this chapter. Jesus said, Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men, to be seen by them. Otherwise you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Matthew 6 verse 1 He was not speaking about public and private ministry. He added, So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Matthew 6 verses 2 through 4 Let us pray. Dear Lord, all praise and glory belong to you, our constant, invisible, only true and living God. You are the revealer of all secrets and the source of all wisdom and knowledge. In you are all the secrets of the universe, but you give to us to know the secrets of your kingdom. Thank you for listening to us when we pray and for understanding when we ask you, for having sent us your word and entrusted your truth to us. We commend you for having revealed the true knowledge of God's mystery. Christ Himself, in which all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. As you have answered Daniel, Lord, send your word to give us understanding. In Jesus' name, amen.